We got this one in on trade recently. This is a mid-1990s Hoover Central Vac. Uh, there's a reason it was traded in, even though it's still functional. There's a few things about it that make it not so nice to use compared to what's available now. But there's a few other things about it that make it kind of cool, and that's why I wanted to make this video. So I've mounted it just here on my workshop wall and connected one inlet directly to the machine. One of the things that I think makes this one neat is that the inlets, the both the utility inlet on the unit, and in this case the inlets around the house, are molded with the Hoover logo in them. So even though this would not be a designer's favorite thing to see around a nice new home, I think it's kind of cool. Your wall inlet, say Hoover. And uh, on a later version of this unit, which was Hunter Green that we traded in, it had a square door inlet stamped Hoover, so I saved that utility inlet. These were made by Hayden. And uh, the Hayden inlet, this I think is the Hayden 1500 inlet. Very, very common. And other manufacturers could get their logo stamped in it also. Um, you could even... Uh, other inlet manufacturers did that too, but uh, the unit itself was made by Canavac. Hoover only built their very first central vac units themselves in the late 80s, the stainless steel 550 model, um, which is a really cool machine also, but we don't have one of those. Ever since then, Canavac was making their units, and Canavac did away with the dual motor design. Uh, They've always been single motor people. This uses a single 5.7 inch three stage motor. Good performing motor. Um, but inside this unit is a permanent inverted cloth filter bag and the kind of beam style, which, as you probably know, once it gets that coating of dust on it, the performance loss is just quite dramatic. And this thing will have very unimpressive kind of performance. This one hasn't actually been used that much, so the filter is pretty good in it. Um, one of the other things about it is this hose is just a 30 foot long version of a Hoover canister hose from that time period. The dimension or the spectrum canister would have had this power head and this hose handle. And it is, it's very heavy and awkward, um, but it had to be an electric hose in order to run the Quadriflex power head. This power head, with its patented Quadriflex brush roll, is actually a phenomenal carpet cleaner. And at this time, you had houses with acres of plush carpet, and a uh, straight suction central vac just wasn't going to cut it, so you had to have a power head. One neat thing on the hose handle, this switch turns on both the low voltage and the high voltage, and you've got a little ready indicator. Also, the, the light on the power head turns on no matter if the brush is on or off, which is neat. You turn the brush on with this little pedal there. It's pretty loud. There's no sound suppression. Of course, you could put a muffler on it or you could vent it outside through here, but this has neither one set up at the moment. Uh, I'll show you that filter on the inside of the thing. So they had a they had a unique take on how to set up that inverted cloth filter. On most units that have a permanent cloth filter, the filter is attached to the come on focus attached to the rim of the body of the vacuum, and the intake is below that. So the the dirt comes in and just goes down and a lot of it gets on the filter. And of course this does have the beanbag weight sewn in it. But on this machine, if you notice, the filter is not attached to the housing of the vacuum, but to the rim of an inner cylinder that the dirt comes in around the side of tangentially and then swirls around. So this took the place of earlier Hoover models that had a cartridge filter that would go up. You wouldn't have this bag on here. You'd have a pleated cartridge filter that fit up on the inside. And they had the same cylinder 
around the outside to shield that cartridge filter. So the idea here was just to replace that cartridge with a maintenance-free, permanently attached cloth filter bag. And you'd still get some kind of a cyclonic action that would keep most of the dust away from the filter. But the problem is that this reduced the size of the filter from one that was the full diameter of the tank. Because this canister is only maybe 10 or 11 inches diameter. And that lessened surface area meant that this thing clogged even faster and so after a few years of use one of these units would have quite poor airflow. So your performance would suffer and uh, of course the hose didn't get any lighter as you were using it too. So in comparison with a modern system with a better filter technology like a disposable bag and a lightweight crush proof hose this would not be my choice to actually clean house with. But I think it's kind of neat. It was good for the time. And of course, as I said, it wasn't used a whole lot, so it works perfectly. <laughs> I just got to figure out what to do with it.